Hi, uh, my name is Annalena and I'm doing another video on my twin flame journey and I want to talk about today uh, healing in time and space. I already made a video on this topic but uh, I recorded it outside and there was a lot of interference on the sound. So um, therefore I listened to it and I decided to to remove it and make another recording on this topic obviously because i think it's got a lot of potential and it's important and a way to heal past traumas traumatic experiences um, and uh, the way to go about it or the way that i go about it is that if there is a time in your life, um, it can be a longer period or it could be an episode, um, whether it's in your childhood, uh, adolescence or your grown-up life, um, which has been more or less traumatic. Obviously, there are some really, really serious stuff going out, on out there. But um, whatever has shaped you in a way where you at that point in time made the decision that okay life is not for me or okay I did something wrong uh, and um, I have to be punished for it for the rest of my life um, which might be decisions that you take on, a, on as a child. So I am a being in time and space, right here and now, and so are you. And two years ago, I was also a being in time and space, and 20 years ago, and so on, and so on. So, to move away from a thinking that time is a chronological thing opens up to another field of seeing time and space as something which is all happening right now. So if I could go back maybe two years and um, obviously going through this twin flame journey and um, Dealing with um, with stuff, lots of stuff, uh, and going through pain, which is uh, what this journey is uh, a lot about. And um, I can go there right now and uh, be there as myself today, um, as a work in progress, <laughs> as you might call it, but still having moved on and go back to that time and to that space, be there as I am here today with another level of understanding and I can talk to myself and I can say to myself, everything is okay, you're gonna be okay doing good, you're safe, you're protected, you're loved. That's just to give you an example of how it can work. It's a way also that you travel with your essence, uh, your journey to that other dimension. Also as a child, if you went through something traumatic, um, something that shaped you, something that made you decide upon things that is not good for you in your life, you can go back there as you are today and talk to the child and give that child all the love 
that it deserves, which is its birthright, his or her birthright to receive love and the understanding that every child on this planet deserves. Talk to the child, hold the child, you can almost go there, hold that child, you know, just hug the child, ensure this is yourself, you're hugging, and you talk to the child within you, I love you, gonna be okay, you're safe, you might even talk to other people involved in either the situation um, or an episode, um, whatever went on, and as a grown-up you talk to the other people involved. So that was a little bit about healing in time and space. Um, and I mentioned being a work in progress, so obviously there is no end goal, like you say, okay, in I reach the goal where I no longer fear, let's say, authorities, or whatever you fear, um, because it's an ongoing thing, and most likely it will keep showing up in your life again and again until you really come so deep into healing whatever feelings you have inside that um, that you can all of a sudden find yourself in situations where I just dealt with that situation. I wasn't afraid at all. <laughs> so which means that you have moved on. But just like a, a twin flame journey is without a beginning and without an end, so is this healing process. Um, it's without beginning and without an end. It's like, also because you expand it and it becomes a collective healing process as well. So um, it's like an illusion to think that, okay, I reach that goal where I've healed this stuff within me. No, keep going <laughs> and make that a beautiful thing, make that a, a loving thing, make that a lot about self-care and the famous famous word self-love. Oh, Craig, I'm gonna make a video about self-love. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just to give an example about what's going on in my life. I love to write stories and I've written a few of them. And my recent book is a fairy tale story. It's right here. It's called Tula Tula Mula, uh, or Menskine, which means and the humans. And uh, there's these three little troll girls, Tula Tula and Mula. And they are indeed very high vibrational <laughs> beings coming straight from the woods. And they are here to uh, change the world in their own mm creative uh, way, in their own cheeky way, but anyway, I, um, uh, I, all the libraries in Norway have got the book now, and, um, and um, which is good, which is good, but uh, it, it still doesn't, um, feel as a breakthrough because uh, it was uh, rejected due to its literary quality and uh, and therefore uh, there will be no payment and um, so there is uh, this double thing going on and Obviously, what I'm saying here is that this is happening to me 
and it's because there is something that I need to look at. This is an inner journey. It, it's what, what is happening on the inside. And to be ready to look at it and just to be honest about it without feeling threatened um, about it. So anyway, I'm getting such good <laughs> responses on the book from people who are reading it, which is just wonderful. So, mm, so I'm really, really happy about it. And I've started reading out from it uh, on another YouTube channel that is in Norwegian wow. since, since it's yet um, not, it's in the process of being translated into English and Danish. So um, it will come um, and I will read out from the books aloud, which I enjoy very much. Uh, yeah, so um, it's an inner process. And um, I have felt this time with the libraries, I have this old feeling I give up and I know it's an old feeling so and obviously talking about this in front of the camera is also just the best opportunity to heal I I learned from this so much and uh, obviously earlier on in my life I've had feelings of giving up <sighs> I give up but then there's this growing voice inside saying no no i don't give up so but that's just an example of how we will be confronted with the same issues the same feelings until they are reprogrammed into something else yeah so I wish you all out there a beautiful day and a wonderful day and that you may heal in time and space and reprogram anything which is not good for you in your life. So sending so much love and blessings to all. Take care.